Hey guys, so my hair is short now. I'm still not used to my short hair. It's really really short, but I had to cut it because my hair was too long. It was really heavy. I am struggling with hair fall. Look at my hair. <coughs> yeah, look at this. I am literally balding, so I had to cut my hair short. And I didn't thought that it would be this short, so... I am done with my first semester of university. For those who don't know, I am taking actuarial science. For the past semester, I didn't use any book at all. Not even a notebook, I didn't buy textbooks at all and my grades are pretty good I'd say. So I'm gonna show you how I survived a semester of university as a math student without any single book and still organized. Because I don't buy textbooks, I have all the ebooks stored in my laptop. So anytime I need to study from my books, I will use my laptop. I'm pretty sure you figured that out. Okay, first let me show you how I organize all my stuff for university. I use these folders, like plastic folders. Does that look like this? It has a clip so you can open it. Yeah. I have one of these for every class that I have. So let's say for first semester, if I have five class, then I have five of these, each for every class. All the papers that I have for that one class will be in one folder. For calculus class, I will have one separate folder for calculus only. So all the papers, all the handwritten assignments that I have for calculus, including all the notes, will be stored in one folder. For the past semester, I use one, two, three, four, four folders. Yeah, so for the past semester, I use four folders. Now, these folders are really cheap. For 12 of these, it costs around 2,400 rupees, and that's 12. For the past semester, I only use four. Don't know why I have 12 with me. It's going to last me until I graduate, but it's good to have some more because these plastic folders are really cheap. They break really easily. Like this one. This is for what class is this? Financial maths. I don't know how I broke it. Basically, the clip area is torn. Some professors, they prefer handwritten assignments. Some professors allow you to type. Some professors even want you to type. They're really big and heavy. They take a lot of space. They're very expensive. There's no way I'm going to spend so much money on books that I will only use for a few months. Apparently, a lot of my friends don't buy textbooks as well because it is really unnecessary to pay so much money on textbooks when you can have them on your laptop. But of course, if you want to buy textbooks, go ahead. For the textbooks, files, and all the assignments that is on my laptop, I organize it by folders. Exactly the same as how I did this. I have one folder for each classes that I have. And in those folders, I have more folders by date. So I have one separate folder for one meeting. For example, let's say I have calculus for 2nd of March, then I'll have one folder named 2nd of March, and in that folder will be all the files that I use or all the things that I need for 2nd of March. So if on 2nd of March, I created a note, it'll be in that folder. And if on the 5th of March, I have another calculus class, then in the calculus folder, I have another folder named 5th of March. So I did that method for all of my classes. Basically just folders like this one and folders in my laptop. That's it for today's video. Let me know how you organize your files, your homeworks, your textbooks, and also let me know in the comment section what types of videos you want to see next.